All right, I was gonna make another video. I changed a few things. There was some stuff leaking, and I did some smoke tests. Of course, there'll be a helicopter going over right now. I did some smoke tests, and uh, it was not exactly airtight. That uh, that little bitty cyclone I had on there was not airtight. So I'll show you what I got done so far. I got stuff actually, everything's ready except for the the line that's going to lead up to the cab. That's the only thing I got to really work on. Uh, of course, the carburetor stuff and all that. But everything in the bed is done. And I actually welded the barrel to the bed. So I tried driving around a little bit and I tried strapping it to my toolbox and uh it just there was no way to hold it still because that propane tank is heavy and it's top heavy so i just decided to weld it down just welded it to the bed and every place that it comes up and touches and my new cyclone as you can see the gas comes out of the gas fire goes into the side of the cyclone, spins around, goes down through here, all the way down to the bottom, and down in here, there's a drain plug where you can pull it out and you can drain the liquid out. Have it actually anchored to the bed, right there. And then the other point, of course, is the two inch pipe, that's the other point that's holding it. I was thinking maybe of taking that other piece and maybe putting it up like this or something. I'll, I'll figure that out. That's probably what I'll do though. That's the only other thing that really needs done back here. And of course it comes out of that through this hose which you take this connection loose and that which leads down to my cooling pipe and across down into my first filter bucket it goes into a two inch pipe there all the way to the well it's off the bottom probably about four inches and that the only filter medium I could find uh, right now, I have plenty of pine needles. I mean, there's pine needles all over the place. So that is what I put in there. I don't know how good it's going to work, but I'm going to try it. Of course, it comes out of that filter and then drops back into this one. And this one is the same thing. It goes down to uh, just up from the bottom. I also put a piece of screen wire in both of them up toward the top so that the particles of the pine needles can't be drawn into the pipe and plug it up. Uh, this one's the same way. Then that is my outlet. That's where I had my vacuum cleaner hooked up to. And at first I was pulling through it to see if I could hear any leaks and I couldn't hear any and then i decided i'm gonna try blowing smoke through so i took a smaller little 12 volt vacuum cleaner and i hooked it up to it blowing in there and i made me some smoke to go through it and it was blowing smoke out of course it was blowing out of these because that's my air inlets. That's where it was. That's the only place it was supposed to blow out of. And it was not blowing out anywhere. Any of those connections. It was not blowing out any of those. It was blowing out of my small cyclone filter. And it was blowing out of the top of it. There was no way I could get it to seal off. This system so far doesn't have any leaks that I can see the only place smoke came out was out of these and well I mean there was a little bit coming out of the top which I don't have this done yet still 
that's that's the one thing that I've really got to do to have everything in the bed finished but basically everything is done and ready back here um, I need to do a test on it and see how it burns see how clean it will burn uh, I'll take a white cloth and put over the end of the vacuum cleaner and see if it has any kind of uh, tar coming out of it I don't know if that's enough to catch my tar or not but like I said before this rack this entire rack is removable take one screw off right there and of course you loosen that connection and you'll loosen this connection and take that screw out the whole thing comes off and you can spray in water in this pipe lay it up against the side of the house and spray in water on that pipe and it will come out down here and well so far I don't have any leaks or anything so hopefully my next video about this will be with uh, doing the test with burning the wood seeing if I got any tar and maybe I might actually have it fixed up where it will start and run the truck uh, good old welder oh and oh yeah I had a little incident with my welder I was up in the bed welding the barrel down to the floor of the bed and all at once the welder started sounding funny it sound, it, it was arcing funny it wasn't making that same frequency that it, that it usually makes and see where I've got it taped up there I'm gonna to have to make me a guard because that wire pulled up into the cooling fins of the alternator and it was you can see it actually did a little bit of damage melting the fins a little bit uh, so I'm going to have to make me a guard to go over top of that so that that can't happen. I also need to make a permanent connection. But I don't want to use my good extension cord. Well, they're not good extension cord or jumper cables anymore. They're kind of <laughs> trashed now. So I'll probably just use those to get some more jumper cables and I'll hook that in permanently. Uh, I had planned on getting some more wire actually and doing it but since I did that to my jumper cables I'm going to use them <laughs> but until next time there's my gasifier system and hopefully the next video I'll be testing it with some fire thanks for watching